Colts, congratulations on the win tonight. Why was it so hard to go at number 13, Cheney? Cheney. Why was it hard to do what? Go on Mr. Cheney tonight. She got 18 points. She's a good player. Uh, you know, she's coming off a knee injury and she's finding her stride right now. She was rookie of the year two years, last, last year. What, last year? Two yeah. years ago. Two years ago. She's a good player. She's going to get some points. Coach, what was it about Connecticut's defense that bothered the team in the second quarter? Uh, I, I think we just kind of, we're, we're tired. I mean, um, we didn't have the energy tonight uh, necessary to really give it a solid game. Um, what their defense was doing, it's just that we weren't executing. And let them back in the game, let them give them a lead. We had the game you know, under control and started throwing the ball over the gym, didn't run any offense is what the culprit was. And they got a little momentum and spurred it to a lead. Can you explain the blood bowl? I'm sorry, what? Can you explain the blood bowl? It seemed like it was very confusing with the bloody nose. And the uh, well, no, it, she was calling timeout. It wasn't acknowledged. And then they grabbed the ball and made a turnover. So it happens. Normally, they call, they call a... Uh, a blood rule, it's, it's 30 second timeout to try to control it. Boyd only put up eight points, but. What I'm sorry, what? Brady Boyd only put up eight points, but what would you say was her um, like role? I thought she was a great contributor tonight. Um, she played you know, hard, gave us the energy that was necessary. Um, she made a lot of fine basketball plays out there. Um, she, you know, she's growing as a basketball player. You see the more, more patience in her right now. Um, she doesn't throw up, a, she'll throw up a wild shot every now and then, and I'll still get her gray hair, but it's not nearly as, as you know, frequent as it was before. Um, she's finding her teammates, and more importantly, I think her teammates are try, starting to trust her a lot more. Hey, Coach, yeah. um, I know you had a tough loss in Minnesota, but you had a few Minnesota ones. And then you came out with a team that has nothing to lose, and you, you guys still found a way to win. Um, would you say that's the, the caliber team that you – that you like going into the future down the road? Um, yeah, you know, every team's going to get tested at some point, you know. Um, you know, like look at Atlanta Beach, you know, in L.A. today. So every every team's going to get tested. Uh, I told them before the game that this was going to be a very, very difficult game. Connecticut is starting to play well. They like each other now, and they're playing good basketball. Um, you know, and it was going to be tough. We knew it going in, and we had to find a way to cut. We were on the board after the game. I thought it was a gutsy win by us. And I thought we just hung tough and hung tough and hung tough and found a way to win. And I think that's the story of today for us is we just somehow found a way, right combinations in the game at a certain times, and they pulled it off. So, Coach, going uh, from this win, what do you need to do, you think, for next week? Well, yeah. you know, we'll get some rest, take tomorrow off. Um, it doesn't stop. And we got on Tuesday, we got to fly. Uh, you know, we got a little bit light practice, then we got to fly, and it's a back to back. So, um, but the ends, ends in sight, we know that we have two games until the break and then we get some rest. You know, Tina's got to go overseas, which is a little unfortunate for her. But um, like I said, we've been pushing very hard. Our schedule's been very brutal uh, over the last month. And to our players' credit, we've weathered it so far. Um, we'd really like to get these next two games. It really put us in a great position as far as seating is concerned.